we tagged on the end there, that was a tribute to the late great Jimi Hendrix. And I tell the story that I was very uh, lucky to meet Jimmy in uh, London when he came over um, in the 60s. And he was a really cool guy, very humble man, and uh, one of the greatest tributes I think he ever uh, paid me and the band was that we had released Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band on a Friday. We'd released our record on a Friday. Two days later, on the Sunday, he'd learned it and he opened the show with it. Uh, it's quite a thing, you know, because he did like a blinding version of it, crazy version. And he's got his full razor arm, like this big speed here. And he's <laughs> giving it all that through the solos, you know. And because the trouble in those days, if you did that, it would send your guitar wildly out of tune. So he's standing there, it's his second number coming up, and he's out of tune. So he looks in the audience. Is Eric out there, man? He's looking for Eric Clapton, you know. And Eric was there, but Eric's having none of it. Eric's cringing down. <coughs> Jimmy looks into him. Will you come up and tune this for me, man? <laughs> no. Jeez. Anyway, I'm hoping this one stayed in tune.